Hi, Terry Van Noy. Welcome to Math Class with Terry V. Hope this video helps you out, and if you enjoy it, please share it, comment, or like it. And you can also go to my website, mathpowerline.com. It's a math resource blog, uh, lesson videos for students, and other resources for parents and teachers. Give me a call, or go to my website or email. All right, let's go to today's lesson. This is a viewer challenge and I'm going to be looking at the angles and the diagonals of a rectangle. So grab a piece of paper and give these a try. Alright in this video I just want you to try numbers 1 and 2. Alright given this rectangle you want to think about what you know about the sides, the angles, and the diagonals of a rectangle and you're going to be solving for BD in number 1 and EC in number 2. Good luck. Alright, AC is 4x minus 60. So let's think about that. That is the length of AC right here, that diagonal. And BD is 30 minus x. And that's the other diagonal. Well, what do you know about the lengths of the rectangles? diagonals. Yes, they are the same length, aren't they? Alright, so we can make an equation and solve for x. 4x minus 60 equals 30 minus x. Now I'm going to go ahead and um, add an x to each side so that all of my x's are going to be on the left. And at the same time, uh, if you're familiar with this, you know, combining two steps at a time in an equation, I'm going to get rid of that free number of 60. Now 60 is a free number because it's on the variable side, but we're going to get rid of it and it's unattached to any other number. So we're going to add 60 to each side and we're going to add x to each side. That means we get 5x equals 90 and we divide each side by 5 and of course my answer then must be 18. x equals 18. Now reread the question and are we done? No, we needed to find x, but we're really looking for BD. BD is 30 take away x, 30 take away 18 must be 12. Number two, AC is 4x minus 60. Okay, let's label that 4x minus 60. AE is x plus 5. All right. Find EC. Well, EC is this other part of the diagonal. The whole thing is 4x minus 60, and half of it up here is x plus 5. And so we need to put that together in an equation, solve for x, and remember that this top part, AE, is congruent to EC. Here's what that equation would look like. Two of the x plus fives equals the whole thing, 4x minus 60. Let's multiply using the distributive property and start to solve. 2x plus 10 equals 4x minus 60. I'm going to go ahead and keep the 4x on the right and I'm going to subtract 2x from each side. And at the same time, I'm going to add 60. That's getting rid of that free number. So I can combine it all in one row. Now, if you'd rather do this one step at a time, go ahead. I'm just trying to save a little space on my screen. So those will cancel out, and those will cancel out. 70 equals 2x. We're going to divide each side by 2. And of course, x would be 35. All right, how does that help us? Well, x plus 5 is this part of the diagonal, and we know that's going to be the same as EC, the other part of the diagonal we're looking for. So what is 35 plus 5? That's right, it must be 40. All right, thanks for trying those two. In the next video, same title, Viewer Challenge, Parts of a Rectangle. Now I'm going to have you work out 3, 4, and 5. Thanks for trying. 
All right, there you have it. I invite you to go to my website now, mathpowerline.com, or email me or give me a call. The way I work best with students is live online in my classroom. So if I can help you in any way, answer some specific questions, the first lesson with me is free as I show you how everything works. All right, study hard and take care.